Hello and welcome to Bites Bread and Barbecue. Today I would like to do a brief comparison between using Eclipse and NetBeans to develop um, an application in Java. I'm going to show similarities and differences uh, and what they look like on the screen. If you find this video helpful, please click the subscribe button down below. This helps me with YouTube. Um, and uh, I would appreciate any type of comments. Please try to be kind that you leave below just to let me know how I'm doing and if you find these videos useful. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the two environments, both of which are free and available for use and development. The first one we're going to look at is Eclipse. Eclipse is one of the most popular Java development environments and has a huge following amongst uh, developers. Um, when you develop on Eclipse, you can use a visual in environment where you draw a um, interface for the program and drop the components from here onto the screen and then you program the functionality within the background. However, when you do this, you have to use add-ons through Eclipse. And this is done through the Eclipse Marketplace, which when you go in here, there are tons of different things that you can add into the program to give you more functionality and add to each one of your development environments. And these can be installed right from the marketplace and is supported by the community. This has a huge community to support this, but you do have to add each of the components. Once you draw this on the screen, Eclipse does develop the Java code in the background for you. And then you can go in and tinker with this and actually add functionality to it. Uh, it does follow a standard Java protocol in naming and in uh, where it places things in the program. If you notice, the variables are up here in the front uh, and it goes down and it follows all of the standard naming and development that Java does. If the way that you program to each of these components when you're in the visual design, if you double click, it'll take you right to that um, place in the code and that's actually where you enter the functionality. Now this clear button erases text from my text field and you can see I just set it to zero. What is really nice is that Eclipse does understand that this is a button and it knows that I put clear on it. So it names it button clear when you first go in and you can find it easily in the code if you're just going here without going back to the visual development environment. So Eclipse tends to stay more standardized. And if we run this program in Eclipse, we'll see that it pops up and it does give me a little about box here. Uh, it allows me to browse uh, for videos uh, that I would want to convert. This program converts MP4s to MOV for use with DaVinci on a Linux platform so that the codecs match. Uh, it really has no functionality on Mac or Windows. However, because it's a Java program, it'll run everywhere, but it really doesn't have a purpose on those two environments. If we would select this, we could then hit convert. And I'm not gonna do it now because it would take a long time to convert the video. It takes about a minute and I don't wanna waste video time. And it'll output that to an MOV that you can use on um, Linux with the free version of DaVinci. So we'll close that out. And if you notice, uh, well, before I do that, if we notice that when we went to browse here, it uses a standard, and I'm under Ubuntu 22.04, it uses a standard open file dialog box, and it looks very normal and keeps consistent with the colors within my environment. So we're gonna flip over to NetBeans, which is another popular free uh, Java development. NetBeans takes a different tact than Eclipse. It comes out of the box um, with all of its tools attached. So here the design environment is built in. It does not have to be added. Uh, and you can start right away just dropping things on. And the program looks very similar. You'll notice that the colors are slightly different um, on this particular file here. There are several different color schemes you can choose from, but these seem to be programmed into the NetBeans environment. Um, the when you go to um, program uh, in uh, to the uh, text of the the software you hit the source button at the top here and you can see this is where everything is located now 
What NetBeans does differently, it puts all of your variables at the end. This is not typical of Java programming, but it is where it, uh, NetBeans places them. And the things that are in the gray box, you cannot edit. And if you notice that it's naming protocols here, when I drop on my clear and convert and browse buttons where um, Eclipse named them according to how I labeled them, the source code here makes them J button one, J button two, J button three, which is not quite as intuitive. Now you could go over here and you could select where you want to rename um, the each one of the controls uh, and name them as you go. But the standard naming protocol tends to be numerical order by the type of control it is, not anything that holds value for the name. Again, if you double click on one of these buttons, it takes you to that area in the code. And you can see with this J button two, the action performed is once again, my fields are clear. If I run the program in NetBeans, you're gonna see that it looks a little bit different. You're gonna see that once again, we have an about box. We have this steel sort of color instead of the tan that my environment has going on. The browse button when we open it looks slightly different, particularly, let me go to an area if we have, uh, say for example, uh, pictures here. You'll notice that the scroll button is across the bottom and it has its own like round tabbed shape. This is not typical of the environment. This seems to be something that is built into um, NetBeans. So if we select that same Leonardo file, uh, it comes up here and it fills in our, um, our, our lines exactly as the other program would. Um, what I, because these two environments are slightly different, um, there is a, uh, a text description on the web that does um, go through step by step whatever is different about them. The biggest thing seems to be that they claim that NetBeans is easier for the very beginner because it comes as a complete package and that it has all the tools built in. However, I will tell you, I do have a son who works as a software engineer and he tells me that nobody in the world runs NetBeans on a regular basis. There are a lot of YouTube videos, so somebody's gotta be teaching it somewhere and using it, but apparently the population at large tends to use Eclipse much more frequently. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a little video here where I have the program running on a Mac. And again, this is not functionality, but I did wanna demonstrate that the clips uses a standard Mac opening dialog um, that you can see this would be something that you would see on any Mac program you would open and can select it. However, if you run the one that is developed in NetBeans, uh, we're gonna see that it looks almost identical to the one that we developed on Linux, including the dialog boxes. Um, the browse when you come here now has the horizontal sort of tab shaped bar and it allows you to scroll through the different areas. It does not look like what is typical on a Macintosh. This looks like what is typical on my Linux computer. So that's my little take on what the similarities and differences are between the environment. You can write the exact same programs in both. I don't know if you noticed on the About box on the Macintosh, Eclipse does not include the graphic, whereas NetBeans does bundle that into the program. Um, so NetBeans does seem to be, for the beginning user, a little bit easier in that it bundles everything together, but it does not stick to system-wide standard dialoguing and format. Um, however, NetBeans does create great usable software that you can use on any platform because Java is cross-platform. Now, of course, the requirement is that you have to have Java installed on any machine you use this on. So just my brief little comparison of the two. If you found this helpful, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you really like my videos. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by.